Towards the end of last week, an article for Vanity Fair came out written by Bess Levin. And Bess Levin titled the article as follows, or at least Vanity Fair did. Sanders, colon, Warren is surging because she's got ovaries. Now, everybody who saw this headline, myself included the first time before I clicked on it, assumed obviously that that is what Bernie Sanders said, because that headline is written as a quote, because it says Bernie Sanders, colon, Warren is surging because she's got ovaries. That's how you write something in a headline if you're quoting somebody. That is a misleading headline and that's not even close to what Bernie Sanders had to say. In fact, the article has his exact quote. And what they're talking about is an appearance that Bernie Sanders made last Wednesday on CNN's uh, Chris Cuomo show. And here, here's the exact quote, because he was asked by Cuomo, what do you think the reason is that Elizabeth Warren is catching up to you in the polls? Do you believe that people see her as the more electable version of Bernie Sanders? And here is what Bernie Sanders responded with. Well, I think we're running against a lot of problems. I think there are a certain number of people who would like to see a woman elected, and I understand that. There are people who would like to see somebody who is younger, and I understand that also. There are a lot of factors out there. Now, maybe you have to replay that part that I just said, or maybe you can just follow the link in the description to read it for yourself, but nowhere in there did I, did I see him say, because she's got ovaries. But that's what the headline says. That, that's what that article was called. That, that's what it made it seem to sound like. He said that because she's got ovaries, she's winning. She's beating him now. And that's not even close to what's happening. But I'll tell you what is happening. And we're seeing this not just in Vanity Fair, but in other papers popping up all over the place. Websites, online stories, people on Twitter. They're trying to start this fight between Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. Why? Well, the prevailing theory is that the establishment types want to see these two progressives rip each other apart and tear each other down so that a more centrist Democrat can emerge as the candidate. I think there's some merit to that theory, but mostly I think it's because there is still this deep seated hatred among the establishment types for Bernie Sanders. This is a disgusting and misleading headline. And maybe by the time you're watching this, maybe Vanity Fair has issued an apology and a retraction and corrected it. But as I sit here right now, they haven't. They haven't acknowledged that they screwed up and that they lied. And this is coming from a longtime Vanity Fair reader that always seems to love their articles. This is sloppy, this is gross, and this needs to be retracted. But what they're trying to do is even worse than a sloppy headline and a misquote. Bernie Sanders is not attacking Elizabeth Warren because she's a woman. In fact, he's not even levying the attacks on her that the media claims that he is. Because just a day or two prior to that, right? We all remember he uh, uh, tweeted out, the cat's out of the bag, the corporate wing of the Democratic Party is publicly anybody but Bernie. They know our progressive agenda of Medicare for all, breaking up the banks, taking on drug companies and raising wages is the real threat to the billionaire class. Okay, well, all the media jumped on that and said, Bernie goes after Elizabeth Warren with that tweet. Where did he mention her name in there? Where did he talk about a policy that she doesn't actually support? I know a lot of people say Medicare for all. She has now signed the TYT pledge of supporting Medicare for all. We'll see if it sticks. I understand it. But here's the thing. Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are the two most progressive people who have the best shot of winning the nomination. They may not be the most progressive in the race, Bert Bernie is, Warren maybe not, but she's damn sure further to the left than most of them out there. And in terms of people who actually have a shot of winning the presidency, yes, she's one of the two most progressive that has a chance in this thing. They're not trying to tear each other down. Bernie Sanders has said plenty of times, I love Elizabeth Warren, I think she's great, I think she does great work. But we're both fighting for the same job here. But what the media is trying to do to these two is absolutely disgusting tear one of them down by making up a false quote, or at least trying to imply that he said this horribly sexist thing about Elizabeth Warren, when nothing could be further from the truth. They're trying to create turmoil where none exists. 
You want to go after a candidate, go after their policies, but don't start making up fake crap just because you have nothing substantive to go after them on. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.